How's it going, everyone? I'm Nostalgic Dave. Pink Fox right here in the house. Welcome back aboard the Nostalgia Train and to Depression City. You're right that I don't understand. He, so I read this, we read this on our own. And to kind of give her an idea of what to expect. And he thought I'd get depressed. You almost, if I wasn't there, um, she would have. No, I just get very shocked at the outcome. Many people did. Anyway, just, I, so she kind of knows what's going to happen now, just for the concept of, hey, doing this blind... The might... bad path, I know what's going to happen exactly. Yeah, we ain't, t well, good path is almost exactly the same except for the ending. <laughs> yeah, that's my point. Anyway, <clears throat> you're right that I don't understand. I don't understand your feelings at all, Sayori. But I don't need to understand. Whatever it takes for me to help you stop hurting... That's what I'll do. No, Pink Fox! Oh man, but I want it. There's nothing! <laughs> oh my gosh, bull crap, Sayori. Nothing at all! The only thing that could have helped me is if it were, could be, everything could be like it always was. Where I knew nothing and you knew everything? No! But I was selfish! No! show you what a horrible person I am. No! <laughs> I'm just gonna constantly say that now. I'm gonna smack you upside the head. No! <laughs> Excuse me. Do not tell your fiance no. No! <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyway. Tears streak down Sayori's face. Okay, half of that statement is actually true. She technically did make us join, but... It wasn't because she was selfish. Yeah. Shellfish. She's a shellfish, don't you know? And Sayori the shellfish. And I was punished by my heart hurting in a way that I couldn't understand. Not great, now I can't get that image out of my head. <laughs> a shellfish with Sayori's face on it. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Do, do I look hurt? I'm just weak and selfish! Can we get this over with? That's horrible to say, but I sometimes can't handle this kind of stuff. This is melodramatic. That's I am. This is way too realistic. That's why I'm saying that. If this was, was me? It, well, no. In real life, just in general. <sighs> that's why I'm going to accept these punishments. So I'm a punishment to you now. Gee, thanks, Sayori. Because I deserve every last one of them. Okay, we're going back to this. No! Without, Without thinking, yeah. I once again grab Sayori's shoulders. This time I pull her into a tight embrace. Uh, um. I know you're not Sayori, but still. Uh, I'm not humping her. <laughs> I, I'm not trying to bang Sayori. I know that. Pink Fox. <clears throat> Sayori, I don't care if you feel selfish. I'm really happy that you convinced me to join the club. Seeing you every day makes it worthwhile enough. If I make friends with everyone else, then that's just a bonus. Okay, that was a smart thing to say. But please, never underestimate how much I care about you. I wouldn't have it any other way. Pink Fox! Okay, that was a smart thing for the character to say. Sayori isn't hugging me back. Despite my arms being wrapped around her, Sayori's arms remain at her sides. She starts sobbing next to my ear. No! Hey, that's my line! <laughs> I'm Sayori. Don't do this to me! That's not what I meant. You know what I meant. You know what? I'm going to get it later. Uh, I do know where you sleep at night. <laughs> bed, be careful! I mean, I just might jump on your bed. Just on top of me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just to hug you. Pink Fox, I... 
Sayori barely manages to speak between her sobs. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. But all I want is for her to know that I care. If you have it in you to call yourself selfish, then you have to let me be selfish too. Actually, yeah. No matter what it takes, I'll figure out what needs to change. I'll make these feelings go away. And if there's anything that you need me to do, then you'd better tell me. I'll get mad if you don't. Yeah, that sounds like something you do. Yeah, oh, I mean, no! <laughs> In real life, you can't lie to the people. No. I. That's BS and you know it. <laughs> Look, I'm trying to stick with the theme of this video. No! It's only five minutes I've already found the theme. I can't say ye. I don't know! I'm trying to say ye. Hit A. I heard you say it. I don't know. I don't know. Oh boy. Gently, Sayori finally puts her arms around me in return. I don't know anything. It's kind of sad how realistic that is. It's all really scary. Again. I don't understand any of my feelings, Pink Fox. That's almost realistic to anybody. The only time I'm not feeling nothing is when I'm feeling pain. Ouch. But your hugs are so warm. And that's really scary, too. Pink Fox, how are you not seeing the signs? And not this Pink Fox, that Pink Fox. That Pink Fox was smart enough to see him from the very beginning. Yeah, that she has a thing for him. Yes. It's kind of obvious. Yeah, well, that's guys for you for the most part. <clears throat> Oblivious, like some we know. <laughs> <laughs> Sayori lets me go. As she does so, I let her go as well. The festival is tomorrow. That's Which you. means you'd have to help two other people before the festival tomorrow. Didn't we already help Natsuki? More helping Natsuki right now. It's it's a bit hard to explain. I'll show you what I, I'll show you what we're gonna do as we do it. Yeah, it's going to be fun, right? Yeah. I think you just said. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be fun. Wait, nope. Sorry, that's not my voice. <laughs> no. How would you like for me to spend it all with you? Um. I don't want you to fall. She's sitting on my legs because I only have one chair that would work to mat level things. Eh. There we go. There we go. It's what I want. I promise. Be nice then. Oh boy. Yeah. It better be. <laughs> Sayori wipes. <laughs> Bob, shut up! <clears throat> Sayori wipes her eyes. If I could spend the whole day here, I would. Of all days, this has to be the one where I have other plans. Maybe I should cancel. Oh, uh, gee willikers. But. Since when do I say that? <laughs> <laughs> say but. But. It's almost time for Natsuki to meet at my house. At the very least, do you want to come along and help out? It would be fun. To my surprise, Sayori shakes her head. Is that really surprising at this point? No. I'm sorry. me today uh, oh boy you understand right oh boy uh it's, it's kind of hard for me to fully understand but i'm trying my hardest it's okay no it's not don't worry too much about it i'll see you tomorrow okay I look 
forward to it, Pink Fox. Not this Pink Fox, that Pink Fox. You are stupid AF. It's okay, honey. <laughs> I know, but still, am I wrong? Yes. This guy is actually... Are you sure? You're very smart. Not... Uh, this ain't me. I know. <laughs> I say goodbye to Sayori and exit her house. On the way home, I find myself still feeling uneasy. But it's hard for me to keep thinking about it when Natsuki is about to come over, too. <clears throat> I think Sayori is right. I shouldn't be worrying too much, and we're definitely going to have a great time tomorrow. Little does he know. Yeah. I should just focus on what's ahead of me. I spend only a few minutes back at home, anxiously awaiting Natsuki's arrival. Before I know it, she texts me to let me know she's outside the front door. Why doesn't she just knock on the door? I like a know. normal person? Because these people aren't normal. Okay, fair point. Without delay, I open the front door to let her in. Hi! Sup. <laughs> Sup, dude! <laughs> Natsuki's now a hipster. Sup, <laughs> 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 bro! What's hanging? <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting. Neither was I, apparently. <laughs> but seeing Natsuki in something other than her school uniform totally threw me off. Seeing her in such cute clothes makes the uniform seem totally unfitting in comparison. Jeez! Don't that's, make it feel so me. awkward already! You know what? Close enough. It's yeah. gonna be a long afternoon, so don't be hey. weird. Just because you're not used to seeing me outside of school, it's me. No, you're, uh, Monica and Sayori. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's gonna be a long afternoon. Oh, like, remember, that's the voice that yes. gave her. <laughs> Shelly's voice. Anyway, I'm coming in. All right, whoa, okay, you did not move, the camera did. Where we have a big backdrop or something? Do we live in a studio or something? I see you brought a lot of stuff. That's yo, I s <laughs> yo, I see you brought a lot of stuff. Come on, man. Natsuki is carrying a large bag that is probably full of guns and some... Whoa, wait, what? Full of baking supplies, <laughs> you dummy. <laughs> you big oaf. I mean, yeah, right, that's, that's totally what I meant. <laughs> I'm getting married to this door next month. I mean, next year. So I wish it was next month. Same here, honey. Yeah. Well, I didn't want to come all this way to find out that your kitchen isn't equipped with a job. But everything I asked you to, right? Yeah, I did. Yesterday, Nazi asked me to buy a bunch of ingredients if I didn't already have them at home. Good. Glad I could count on you to do your part. Well, uh, of course. <laughs> I'm surprised to hear Natsuki suddenly say that Rather than something snarky like she usually does Could it be that she is a little different outside of school after all? Doubtful Yeah, maybe, I don't know Anyway, let's go to the kitchen What? You're not even gonna offer to take this heavy bag for me? Where's your hospitality, Pink Fox? Oh jeez, fine I mean... Come on! Since when did I need to be a gen... A gentleman. Okay, this guy... This, uh... He's an idiot. Can I punch him? Yes. <laughs> if this guy ever is realistic and approaches me, he's getting a sock to the face. With a bunch of butter in that sock. Oh, so you're gonna reprise Sam Puckett's buttersock? <laughs> I'm glad you got that pretty much off the bat. So you're gonna reprise Sam Puckett's buttersock. <laughs> and just smack him silly with it like she would. Pretty like much. Like nunchucks. But no, no, she'd have... Natsuki here would have the nunchucks, okay. I'd have the buttersock. Anyway, I grab the bag Natsuki holds out to me. This is ridiculously heavy. <laughs> I carried that all the way here. Are you impressed? I see now. 
Yeah, I'm impressed, Natsuki. It seems like I always underestimate you. <laughs> it's because I'm so small, isn't it? Haven't you learned that small things come in big things? Big pack, yeah. Come in small, small things packages. come in big packages. Like, you for jerk. example, the fact that I tackle you and toss you into bed right next to me. No comment. <laughs> Natsuki hits a fist into my chest. <laughs> hey, hey! Watch the nipples! <laughs> Watch the nipples bite, girl. <laughs> Your size has nothing to do with it. You really hate being small that much. <laughs> huh? Um, it's not like I hate it. I mean, sometimes I think proving people wrong when they only think I'm worth my size. That sounds like someone else I know. Who, me? Yup. <laughs> it's fun when I get to be small and also better than other people. Yeah, because I can fit in tiny holes. <laughs> what holes are you referring to? Do you have, like, a little mouse hole in your room that you're not telling me about? Yes. <laughs> I want to pet the mouthy! <laughs> Natsuki just looks at the pink box and goes, Are you sure you're a gangster? I'm <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Are you sure you're a gangster? Jeez, never mind. What are you making me say? Don't think you can make me talk about weird things just because we're not at school. You... Are we getting started or what? There's a lot of stuff I gotta teach you. <laughs> what? That's a little bit more like you. You're more fun when you just speak your mind like that. Hey! No, you are treating me like a kid. I mean, if you act yeah. like a kid, you're gonna be treated like one. Yeah. <laughs> I read your mind. Well, we both were gonna say it. That's kind of a no-brainer statement here. I mean, she does sound like a little kid. Yeah. That's why, head gear. that's why I'm saying I should have done the... Well, that was last time's joke, I think. Yeah, she still sounds like she's wearing headgear. Well, she's always gonna sound like it. I was just trying to be a little nicer to you, you know? And just because I don't have a mature and sexy figure like Harry doesn't mean you should treat me like... I mean, she is uh, a little... She does look like a little kid, but she is mature for a, her size. Sounds like a lot of people I've come across, me? actually. You included, yeah. I, see, I look like I'm 12, but I act like I'm 25. And I'm only 20. Dead center. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Natsuki catches her words, and her face turns red. Natsuki. I get it! I didn't say anything. You should have pulled... Oh, bleh. I'm using Natsuki's voice so much that... <laughs> it's okay, honey. I should apologize for my stupid behavior. Let me go I put wonder... on my black jacket and get on my motorcycle. Get on the back and we can go ride to wingers. I mean, that would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or, you know, Hooters. Yeah, there's, there's oh, the one. Oh, I've been to a Hooters before. I know. You bought one of those shirts. <laughs> huh? That's James. Oh. Oh, yeah. I appreciate that you were trying to be nicer. I should have been a little more considerate, too. But also, if that's what you're thinking, then you should know that there are tons of guys who are into body types like yours. Like me. Or like Pink Fox. Mm, you're a Pink Fox, remember? I know. I'm but I meant that Pink Fox. Yeah, you the cave which there. is the character Pink Fox, honey. The <laughs> brain <laughs> Ah! Get that stuff off of me! How would you know that anyway? Because I'm a guy, you dummy! How stupid... Why is everyone in this story stupid? I mean... Just trust me on this one. Gross! Hey! I was trying... He was trying to help you. Was that to me? Who else? Man. Let's just get started already. <laughs> You get all sour when a girl calls you gross. When I originally read that, I actually thought she said calls you out. That wouldn't surprise me. 
Yeah. I mean, lots of people that get called out don't take kindly to it. I finally found your weakness, Pink Fox! And now she's laying her legs on the bed that's in front of the chair now, and I'm getting crushed. <laughs> I'm sorry, baby. Natsuki smiles deviously. <laughs> Please spare me. No. Well, if Natsuki decides to dish out more insults like that, there's no way I'm not fighting back. But she's satisfied enough for now. Finally starting to pull things out of her bag so we can get started. Freaking finally. Before long, the whole kitchen is a mess. Spoons, dirty bowls, flour, spilled fluid, and plastic bags are strewn about every counter. Yeah, that's a giant... Wow. That's that's that's, uh, that's, that's a, um, a person's mess. I know who. You don't have to whisper it in my ear. I know who. Someone we... Used to know. Yeah. That has never made an appearance on this channel. Never will. Be kind of hard now, especially. <laughs> yeah, because she's blocked on every channel. Or on everything. Yeah, Social media platform. She probably blocks herself on it anyway. Anyway, digressing. Back to the story. Okay. The mixer isn't big enough to make all the batter at once. So we've had to do it several times. Meanwhile... Natsuki is babysitting all of my movements to make sure I don't mess up her precious baking. That's on her. Pink Fox, where did you put the food coloring? The batter's going in the oven soon, so I need to fill the trays. I think it's still in the bag next to the table. What are you using it for? To color the batter, of course. Duh! <laughs> <laughs> I'm making each tray a little a different color. That way, even if the flavors aren't different, everyone can still pick their favorite. That's a good idea, actually. That's a cute idea. That was a stupid way to say that, Pink Fox. Are we doing everything like that with the icing? Do you want to? No. Uh, you're asking me? I don't really have a preference, so... Come on! You're not putting any heart into this at all. Can't you at least try to have fun? I'm having fun. You know, <laughs> talking to a biker girl, acting like I'm a biker dude when I know nothing about the topic. I mean... <clears throat> I mean, that does sound like something you do anyway, so... <laughs> Shut up! You're right, but nice. <laughs> I mean, he, he does love when my southern accent comes out. I uh, really, that's, I mean, that's and why I pull out Bob a lot of the time. to Steve Harvey a lot. Does kinda. that. Yeah. It does that. Luckily, I love Family Feud. That's not the only thing he's on. I know, but that's the main thing that a lot of people know him for. Anyway, I'm not really sure what Nazi is trying to get out of me. Meanwhile, I see her separate, separate the batter into small little bowls and put a few drops of food coloring into each. Huh. That does look pretty cool. See? It's not like baking, it's just about following instructions. The presentation is where you get to be creative and have the most fun. It's a million times more worth it in the end. If just looking at it makes everyone's eyes lighten up. Oh, it's making your eyes lighten up. Yeah? Like the ones you made on my first day, huh? I recall Natsuki proudly presenting her cat-shaped cupcakes and Sayori and Monica's delighted expressions. I wonder if I can make Natsuki proud like that, too. Yeah, maybe I will use the food coloring then. Sounds like you're starting to understand. Just make sure you completely finish mixing the icing before you mess with the food coloring. Yeah, it's getting there. We were using the electric mixer for the batter. So I got stuck with a whisk and a huge bowl for the icing. Huh? The icing's still all lumpy. Are you even trying? Well, yeah. <laughs> It'll just take a little longer. Jeez! I'll be here all night if you do it like that. I'm sure the guy wouldn't mind at all. <laughs> yeah, but he also has to help Yuri. Nope. Really? Not yet. I'll, 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 I'll show you later. Before the festival. Here, look! Natsuki grabs the whisk from me and uses her other hand to tilt the bowl back. 
really need to beat the crap out of it. There's the biker girl. <laughs> I mean, after a few seconds, the consistency of the icing has already improved. See? As if to em emphasize, Nazi sticks a finger in the icing and plops it in her mouth. I reluctantly start to do the same. Hey! Natsuki suddenly grabs my wrist. I don't want your gross fingers in my icing. Your icing, eh? Are you forgetting who did all the work? I start to fight back, trying to inch my finger close toward the bowl. Don't make me beat the crap out of you next! Whoa! <laughs> I'd like to see you try. Holy freaking cow. I mean, okay. I say that a couple times a day. <sighs> I push harder, just enough for my finger to reach the icing. I triumphantly scoop some with my finger, just as Natsuki tugs with all her might. Ah! The force of Natsuki pulling me causes me to stumble, making her stumble in turn. Gross! You got it on my face! Whose fault is that? There's a big glob of icing on Natsuki's cheek. Ugh. She tries to reach it with her tongue. But it's too far away. Eh, 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 eh. <laughs> that doesn't work, Natsuki. Jeez! You know what? Take this. Natsuki instead wipes it off with her finger before shoving her finger toward me at my own face. <laughs> you wish. I'm faster. I grab her wrist with my hand before it reaches my face. Natsuki tries to use her other hand to fight back, but I grab that one as well. That's cute. It actually looks adorable. I know. <laughs> Stop! Not until you apologize for calling me. Oh. Um, honey, normal voice. Not until you apologize for calling me gross! Ugh. It's okay. <laughs> I'm, me, me, big dumb. Hold on, hold on. Eh. Mm. Me, big dumb. <laughs> That's BS, and we both know it. Oh my gosh, hold up. Oops. Actually, you know what? Since I accidentally did that. Oh yeah, totally accidentally. Are we going to have to restart now? Nope. You'll see why I did that in a sec. In a little bit. Fine. Fine! Fine! I'm sorry for calling you gross. You know I don't mean it. It's just fun seeing you react to it. Mm, sounds like someone else I know. What, to me tickling you? Nah, that's a good example, yes. <laughs> you it do is that to funny. me all the time, you know? Saying dumb things just to get a reaction out of me? Hmm. That, okay, yeah, that sounds like you and I. <laughs> yep. You Why really you shouldn't compare? tease girls like that. Yeah, I can tease I mean, my fiance like that all my freaking want. Yeah, because want. me and you have the same sense of humor. Yeah, so. very, very, very similar. And that's so. In that case, I probably shouldn't do this either. I take Natsuki's finger and put it in my... Licking off the icing. Natsuki is not your girlfriend! What? That was a stupid idea. I'm gonna say this right now. D did you seriously just... <sighs> Natsuki is so surprised that she can't even figure out how to get mad at me. Her face is entirely red. <laughs> I mean, I can do that to her, and she can do it to... I can do that to her, and she can do it to me, but again, we're... Freaking, we're engaged. Yeah. We're going to be married soon. Those two aren't even official couple, or anything. We're going to be married soon. Yep. I got a ring on my finger. Pink Fox? Really shouldn't do that kind of thing to girls, unless you really like them. Hmm. Doi! You know that, right? What kind of question is she asking me, just like that? How did the mood turn to this so quickly? I mean, he does like you. He, it's completely obvious, Natsuki, if you're- if he, like, he, The problem is he likes all the girls in the club, that's the problem. No, he shouldn't. He does, he shouldn't, but he does. That's called being a hoe. No, that's called being a player. If it's a guy, it's a player. If it's a girl, it's a hoe. Okay, fair point. I- Natsuki gazes at me in silence. I notice her shallow breaths. Why am I starting to feel dizzy? Hmm, gee, I wonder. Nervous? 
He likes her. Doi. Uh. Out of nowhere, the fire alarm gets go. Ah, you, you idiots! You left something in there, you tart. They're tarts now. Where's the Queen of Hearts? Someone might steal her tarts. <laughs> Natsuki rushes over to the oven. Is something burning? I thought you didn't put the cupcakes in yet. <coughs> no wonder! You left a dirty tray in here, dummy! How could you make a mistake like that? You should check before turning on the oven. I don't even know how to respond to this. Don't blame me for your mistakes. Jeez! You're uh, so adorable when you do her voice. Natsuki uses an oven mitt to grab the blackened tray out of the oven. She sets it on top of the stove. In another moment, the fire alarm stops. Anyway, I'm putting them in the oven now. Yeah. The tension from the moment before still lingers over our heads. That's such a bad thing. Well, actually, with what's about to happen, yeah. But... But the moment has already been lost. Actually, what's about to happen ain't gonna happen for another, at this rate, like six episodes. I watch as Natsuki slides the cupcake trays into the oven. Then, I reluctantly pick up the whisk and continue with the icing. Like nothing ever happened. Ah, that smells so good! Cupcakes are ready to be pulled out of the oven. As soon as Natsuki opens the oven door, a blast of sweet smelling warm air fills the room. You better hope Sayori doesn't eat them. <laughs> She's like me in that sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at how cute they all look. She proudly shows off the different colored cupcakes in each of the trays. They'll look even better once we add the icing. Not like you need to tell me that. Doi! I promise decorating stuff. I brought. I brought decorating stuff, so I hope you can get creative. Here, scoop the icing into these bags. Natsuki hands me some plastic bags. I have these nozzles that will make it look like nice and fluffy. This one, ice cake, this one can even make flowers. You probably won't be using it this time, though. What's this one for? I pick up one of the nozzles that has a much thinner tip than the others. That one's really thin, so you can use it to make stripes or other patterns. But you can also use it to write stuff on a cake. Like, happy birthday or whatever! Ah, huh, I see. That gives me an idea, actually. Huh? What? It's a literature event, right? We could make it more literature themed by writing a different word on each of the cupcakes. It would be fun to see people choose their cupcake based on a word they like. Uh, hmm? I was kind of expecting you to say something really stupid. That was actually a really good idea. You almost got that line perfectly without reading it. Change good to cute. <laughs> Maybe I'm getting it from you. What's that supposed to mean? I'm not cute. Beg to differ. I mean, come on. I'm not cute. Beg to differ. BS. We're not at school. Nobody's judging. You can't dress and act like this and not expect me to think you're cute. Well... Nazi's voice trails off. Same with you. Huh? Did you say... <sighs> she said same to you! Well, her voice did trail, so she was probably muttering it. N n no nothing! Let's just do the icing. Natsuki picks up the pace and fastens a nozzle onto each of the bags. There's a lot to do. So we shouldn't be wasting time. Here, I'll show you how to do it. Without giving me a chance to think about, not about, ugh, to think about before, Natsuki quick, quickly moves on. She shows me how to apply the icing, and then we each get to work. When we're finally finished, 
Natsuki puts them all side by side to admire our work. Look at how pretty they are together. Nah, oh boy. Yeah, they are. They are, aren't they? Uh, I wish I could have won now. Well, there's no reason you can't, right? I don't see any harm in that. Well, yeah, but my dad's making dinner tonight, so I really need to save my appetite. <laughs> the Sayori's the exact opposite in that regard. Nothing will spoil that girl's appetite. <sighs> she was here, we'd probably be down ten cupcakes already. And she would still eat dinner. Come on, that's just unhealthy. No. Actually, it is. Too much sugar can be very unhealthy if it's... Uh, what is this? Unsaturated or saturated? Which one? Saturated. One's, so, yeah. Too much saturated sugar. Very unhealthy. Besides, when my dad cooks, I need to eat as much of it as I can. Well, anyway, I was hoping we would have time for the manga... I need to be home for dinner. Uh, already? It's a shame. It's your fault for working so slowly. Hey, 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 hey. I'm sorry, I'm slow. Yeesh. Words right out of my mouth. You should have thought about that. It's not like you'll always have this chance. No comment. Man. Yeah. As usual, Natsuki places the blame on me. At least, well, this one actually makes sense, though, dude. You can bring the cupcakes tomorrow, right? If you and Sayori each carry some, then you can probably do it on in one trip. Sure. Um. Yeah, I, I, I can do that. <laughs> and don't worry, I won't let her eat any. <laughs> I wish she would listen to me the way she listens to you. Uh, yeah. When does she listen to you? I don't know. It doesn't ever show that part. <laughs> I know. I again think back to the conversation I had with Sayori earlier today. I felt so helpless. Sayori always does listen to me. But at that point, it felt like she couldn't listen to me at all. Okay, I'm all backed up. Good work today. You too. I'll walk you out, I, I guess. You and I both know what's coming. Just like that, Natsuki is already about to leave. Feels like the afternoon went by in a flash. Yeah, 40-ish minutes is a flash. More than that. Did I even take the opportunity to get closer to her? Like I wanted? Well, I, I guess I'll be off then. Thanks for all the help and everything. I'll see you tomorrow. Wait, Natsuki. Huh? What you said before, about not always having this chance, it, it doesn't have to be that way at all. I had fun today. You showed me how fun baking can be, like you wanted. But aside from that, you can come over anytime, okay? I, I think that if possible, I'd like to spend more time like this. If you want to read manga, or go out some t somewhere. Um, do you really mean that? Doi. Natsuki looks at me tensely. Like she's trying to hide her expression. Yeah. I want to spend more time with you. Hey, Fox. I thought you only cared about getting this done. Uh, I'm sorry I had to leave so early today. I really didn't want to. I would really stay here longer if I could. I feel the same way as you, so... Ooh. Moving in for a kiss, I guess. Natsuki suddenly gets closer to me. Wait, Natsuki. Standing inches from me, Natsuki looks up at me. I feel her fingers gently clutching at the sides of my shirt, as if holding on to me. Like this? That's what they're trying- that's what she's wanting to do, yes. Her rose-colored cheeks and matching eyes fill my vision, along with her slightly parted lips. What is happening? Dude, you're an idiot! My head starts to go dizzy as I feel her soft breasts against mine. She's trying to kiss you, you dumb twit. 
I, I felt it for a while now. <gasps> Natsuki suddenly jumps back. S Sayori! Ah, shit. Okay, I'm not picking that path this time. <gasps> oh, that's you. Sorry. Hi, Pink Fox. Sayori. Just now, we weren't... <laughs> it's okay, Pink Fox. I just stopped by to say hi. Uh, well, you should have come a little earlier. I'm already on my way out, so... Oh, really? That's too bad. Yeah, well... I'll still see you at the festival tomorrow, so it's fine. Just don't eat any cupcakes before then. Anyways, later. Clearly flustered, Natsuki hurries off, and Sayori waves goodbye. Sayori, I, I thought you didn't want to come over today. Uh, well, I tried staying in my room, but my imagination was being really mean to me. Um, okay, I'm really starting to sound like Cat. It's freaky. Cat Valentine? Yes. So I had to come here and see her for myself. I mean, when you think about it, if you, she had longer hair, she would look a lot like Cat Valentine. See what? What are you talking about? You know. Oh boy. How much fun you were having with Natsuki? And how close you got to her? Oh, jeez. Makes me really. Happy. She says with a tear in her eye. But you made such good friends. That's all that matters to me. Tears start to fall down Sayori's face. That's all that matters to me. Why am I feeling this way, Pink Fox? Oh, <gasps> boy. I'm supposed to be happy for you. Why does it feel like my heart is splitting in half? Gee, I wonder. It hurts so much! Everything hurts so much! This would be so much better if I could just disappear! Oh boy. Sayori, don't say that. It's jumping, Fox! If I wasn't here, then you would waste your sympathy on me! We've been there already, Sayori. Please stop. And you wouldn't have to put up with me for being selfish. Monica was right. Monica was right. Okay. The f did Monica say? I should just... Monica? Mon Monica Mon was... Uh Monica was right about what? Uh... Sayori... What I said before is true. I'm not going to let this continue. Caring about you like this isn't the burden your mind is making it out to be. It's something that makes me happy. It's something that I wouldn't trade for anything else. So even if it takes an entire lifetime, I'm going to be by your side until you don't feel any more pain. Sayori looks away. I put a hand on her shoulder to reassure her. I'm scared, Pink Fox. I'm really scared. What are you scared of, Sayori? I'm scared that... Oh, no. I might like you more than you like me. <sighs> Sayori? It's true, isn't it? I was weak to like you too much. I did this to myself. Pink Fox, I like you so much that I want to die. Oh, oh Jesus. That's how I feel. And, 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 and. That's enough, Sayori. I don't want you to get hurt. I don't want you to hurt anymore. 
slide my hand down Sayori's arm and squeeze her hand in my own. Do you remember how I said I always know what's best for you? Do you still believe me? Wordlessly, Sayori nods. Even if you don't understand all of your own feelings, I know what you need the most right now. And that's what I'm going to give you. Fuck. Um... In this, so I'm gonna... <sighs> either way, she's... Either, it's same outcome either way for those who don't know, but, um... Just to showcase both ends... Because when we do Sa when we do help Sayori, we'll choose I love you, so I'm gonna say you'll always be my dearest friend for the other two. You'll always be my dearest friend. What you need most is for things to be like they've always been. Monica told me the truth. She told me how much happier you seemed after I joined the club. I know you're struggling with some really difficult feelings right now, but please trust me that I know what's best and what will make you happy in the gut in the end. Gend? I was about to say Gend. What the, the hell end. is Gend? I promise I'll help get things back to the way they were. I. Oh no. I see. Oh no. Look what you done did. Get ready to get on your knees and scream. Because that's what she's about to do. If I remember correctly. <laughs> Sayuri forces a smile through an incredibly pained expression. <laughs> no. That's still her faking laugh. Oh. Here. I'll show you. <laughs> Is this what it feels like? Hey, it's me. Chest? It's me. Shut well, up. Is this what it feels like to get stabbed in the chest? He just liked me. <laughs> yeah. You've shown me a mean- I should write a poem about this. Oh no. Sayori. But it's okay. This is just my punishment, remember? Oh god. For being so selfish. <sighs> so please. Please don't worry about these stupid feelings. I know you're right. I knew this whole time that there was no happiness down that path. Oh, jeez. That's why I came here. So I could just get the answer I needed to hear. Oh, boy. And the other thing. You're also right. I just wanted to go back to the way it was. I realize that now. You really do know me better than anyone, Pink Fox. Uh-oh. I'll trust you with anything. Anything at all. So. Sayori's smile finally breaks. All of a sudden, she turns around and drops to her knees. No! I know to you that was fake, but just imagine getting your heart broken. That kind of scream is what she's doing. I know. Clutching her head with both hands, she screams as loudly as she can. I'm so shocked that I don't know how to react. Sayori looks over her shoulder and flashes me one more weak smile before turning around and running off. Sayori! I'm left helplessly, standing in front of my house. Why am I feeling so horrible about this? There's nothing more that I could have done. The most I can do is support Sayori through her feelings and help her on the path that's right. But I'm having as much trouble understanding Sayori's feelings as she is. Even though I can confront... Co Com even uh, comfort. I know. The freaking gangster girl kind of got in my head. Okay. I keep wondering if I should be doing something more or something different. I know these thoughts will continue to plague me. Until things are back to the way they were. I'm going to give it everything I've got. Sayori will always be my dearest friend. And I'll do whatever it takes to put a smile on her face every day. What an idiot. Monday! Oh, it's the day of the should... festival. No, extensive episode. I'm intentionally oh. doing this. That way we can start with the other paths next time. It's the day of the festival. Of all days, I expected this to be the one where I'd be walking to school with Sayori. But Sayori isn't answering her phone. I 
considered going to her house to wake her up, but decided oh, that's boy. a little it's too late to help everyone. No, it's not. Remember, I checked on this while we were doing our kind of own thing. Mm -hmm. I know when it's too late. I considered going to her house to wake her up, but decided that's a little too much. Meanwhile, the preparations for the event should be nearly complete. I managed to carry all the cupcakes myself by carefully stacking two trays. Natsuki is already texting up a storm, but I can't respond, thanks to my hands being full. Funnily enough, I probably feel the same way as Natsuki about the event. I'm more excited for it to be over so I can spend time with Sayori and Natsuki at the festival. But knowing Monica, I'm sure the event will be great too. Totally. Nothing wrong. Pink Fox! You're the first one here! Thanks for being early. It's... Oh. That's funny. I thought at least Yuri would be here by now. I think this is about... Hold on. Monica is placing little booklets on each of the desks in the classroom. Yeah, you know what? We're going to save here and we'll rewind because it's around these parts where I tried to figure it out. I was like, okay, so we're going to save on page two, each individual character. So that one's Natsuki, which means we're going to have to save then Yuri here, and then Sayori, the last one we'll help, will be on this third slot on the top row there. So let us load game and go back to the very beginning and from here what we're going to do is skip literally everything until we get to the new bits next time we will be writing a poem for yuri for right Oops. now though yes it's been a little bit of an extensive episode so next time will probably be a little bit shorter I'm Pink Fox, this is Nostalgic Dave. If you guys want to check out any other um, rides on any other visual novels that have happened so far, click the link in the bottom right hand corner, try to take you to that destination. Any of the stops on this ride will be right across from our heads here, trying to take you there if you want to check that out. But in the meantime, this train's off to its next destination, so we hope to catch all of you. All aboard! Always too early. I gotta control my animals. <laughs> Alright, we'll catch you guys in another ride. Bye! Bye.